Hello, I'm Google Strings, and you're watching the new of Settlers Prime. Today we'll be painting heavy artillery guns. Both guns got a foundation in chaos black, followed by a layer of USA gray. Then we'll apply several thin layers of medium chipping with an airbrush. Be sure only to spray thin layers so you get the best results. The next step, we will apply white color to represent the winter camp on the model. Again, only spray thin layers. For the next step, you need boiled water. Take a brush, dip it into the hot water and just rub it along the water. You will see what happens. With this technique, you can create very realistic chipping effects. For the next step, you just rub a pencil along the edges to create a more metal effect. Use the winter wash from AK Interactive and draw thin lines onto your model. Can also be used to represent other. It can also be used to weather other areas of the model, like screws and bolts. Then take white spirit and smooth in the edges and blur out the lines you've drawn.
then we take silver dry brush in color and dry brush all the areas which are in heavy use. Then we, <clears throat> then we will use AK attack with rust streaks to create rust around edges and screws and bolts. Like in the step before, just with rust. Step with the white spirit like we've done before. Just smooth out the edges and blur out. But when doing this, be careful not to scrub off the whole color. So don't do it. Don't overdo it. For the next step, we will use mixed standard rust. This works like the normal games workshop washes, but uh, it has actually a rust color, so don't use it to shape your pants. Then we will use Codex Gray to dry brush the wheels of the vehicle to get some highlight. I know Codex Gray is, not lo is no longer available, so you can use another light gray tone. Then we use a silver color like the driver's color or every other silver color like polka metal to, to paint the recoil pistons of the Medusa gun. Then we use MIG oil and grease stains to create oil and grease stains upon the pistons. It can also be used for any other area which has oil stains on it. Then we use AK Interactive's track wash for the wheels of the camera.
Then we use Mix Abteilung 502 Oil Color and mix it with White Spirit. By mixing oil color and white spirit, you'll get a very good wash. In my opinion, the quality of oil washes is much better than normal washes, like long oil or zebra. Now apply the wash over the whole model to give it more and more. If you get too much wash on, on a single point of the model, just use some clear white spirit to remove it. Next step, we'll apply black color to the muscle. For this, of course, we use the average. Then we use MIG standard rust again to highlight areas around the wheels, like the screws. Then use a clean and dry brush to apply weathering powder upon the wheels and every part of the model which touches the ground. You can use pigment fixer, purity seal or simply water to fix the pigments of the model. But the best result you will get with pigment fixer or if necessary purity seal. But the best is pigment fixer. As always, the final step is to protect your model against damage, so spray several layers of purity seal all over the model. By the way, artillery needs a crew, so I can already think of what the next video is going to be. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, just visit our Facebook page and subscribe. And yeah,